Chapter 1.5.3 Chapter 3 explains the basic principles of physical power projection. Chapters 3 through 5 represent the main deliverable of this thesis, a novel theory called power projection theory. The theory is divided into three parts, each where each part corresponds to a separate chapter and represents a separate core conceptual, conceptual, conceptual category. Chapter 3 provides the foundational theoretical concepts of power projection theory. The author utilizes different fields of knowledge and theoretical frameworks, namely biology and military, military strategy, to explain why physical power projection is essential for survival and prosperity in the wild and how it's used to establish dominance hierarchies, a.k.a. peck and order. This chapter explores theoretical concepts associated with property ownership and physical security, using examples from nature to illustrate how organisms develop increasingly clever power projection tactics to settle disputes, determine control over resources, and achieve consensus on the legitimate state of ownership and chain of custody of property. The purpose of this chapter is to introduce the core theoretical concepts needed to understand the complex social technical relationships between physical power, physical security, and property ownership. The core theoretical concepts presented in this chapter frame the discussion presented in follow on chapters. The primary takeaway from this chapter is a detailed understanding of why antlers are such a profound power projection technology because of how they enable intraspecies physical power competition while minimizing intraspecies injury. For those of you who don't know, uh, interspecies and intraspecies, the difference? Ant it means antlers are great at attacking and defending against other animals. However, it allows them to compete against each other while minimizing injury to each other while still being able to establish the dominance. But he's going to explain it much better than I just did.